African personalities leading in world organizations. Hello, on behalf of ARM TV, I would like to welcome you to another informative content on the Africa Today series. Africa Today is a weekly series where you get informed, educated and entertained with amazing contents from across Africa. In today's video, we will be presenting to you some top African personalities doing amazing jobs in world organizations such as the World Health Organization, IMF and others. If you are new here, welcome. Please subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. If you are a returning subscriber, we love you. Share with us in the comment section your topic of interest you would like us to cover and we will make that happen. Africa having negative image of a dark continent and bedrock for poverty, hunger and terrorism and diseases. This stereotype denies the world an opportunity to learn about the continent's immense potentials. Africa has so much goodness to offer and Africans around the world are doing amazing things to make the world a better place. Africans today lead in global organizations and strive for a change in the world. We begin with Ngozi Okonjo Iwala. Ngozi Okonjo Iwala, Director General of the World Trade Organization, this prominent Nigerian national made her headlines in March 2021 when she emerged as the first woman and first African to lead the World Trade Organization. Ngozi Okonjo Iwala is a Nigerian American economist, fair trade leader, environmental sustainability advocate, human welfare champion, sustainable finance maven, and a global development expert. Prior to her appointment at the World Trade Organization, she has served as Nigeria's Minister of Finance, initially under President Osulugen Obasanjo from 2003 to 2006, and secondly under President Goodluck Jonathan from 2011 to 2015. She has well served as Nigeria's Minister of Foreign Affairs in 2006. She upholds 25 years work career with World Bank. Her recent appointment with the World Trade Organization is set to come in by 2025. Mohamed Sanusi Bakindo, Secretary General of OPEC. His Excellency Mohamed Sanusi Bakindo of Nigerian nationality began his mandate as a Secretary General of OPEC, Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, on 1st of August 2016. In 2019, he was anonymously reappointed for a further three-year mandate as Secretary General by the OPEC conference. He has previously been Nigeria's national representative as well as his governor to OPEC and in 2006, he was acting OPEC Secretary General. From 2009 to 2010, he was Group Managing Director and CEO of Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation. In his career, he was a special assistant to former Minister of Petroleum Resources and OPEC Secretary General, His Excellency Dr. Riwanu Lukman KVE. Mr. Bakindo has always been leader of Nigeria's technical delegation to the UN climate change negotiations since 1991. He served as chair of the Group 77 and China at the UNFCCC, and he was elected to serve three terms as vice president of the Conference of the Parties. Winnie Bianhima, UNAIDS Executive Director. Winnie Bianhima is the Executive Director of UNAIDS and an Undersecretary General of the United Nations. A passionate and long standing champion of social justice and gender equality, Mrs. Bianhima leads the United Nations effort to end the AIDS epidemic by 2013. Mrs. Bianima believes that healthcare is a human right and was an early champion of a people's vaccine against the coronavirus that is available and free of charge to everyone everywhere. Before joining UNAIDS, Mrs. Bianima served as the executive director of Oxfam International, a confederation of 20 civil society organizations working in more than 90, 90 countries worldwide, empowering people to create a future that is secure, just and free from poverty. Mrs. Bianima was elected for three terms and served 11 years in the parliament of her country, Uganda. She led Uganda's first parliamentary women's caucus, championing groundbreaking gender equality provisions in the country's 1995 post conflict constitution. Mrs. Bianima led the establishment of the African Union Commission's Directorate of Gender and Development and also served as Director of Gender and Development at the United Nations Development Program. Antoinette Sai, Deputy Managing Director of the International Monetary Fund, IMF. 
Liberian Economist and Deputy Managing Director of the International Monetary Fund IMF, Sai served as the Director of the African Department at IMF from July 2008 to August 2016. Prior to her term at the IMF, she served from 2006 to 2008 as Minister of Finance in the Cabinet of Liberian President Ellen Johnson Sealy. Sire was the second woman in Liberia's history to hold that position, the first being Ellen Johnson. In 2007, Sire was a member of the World Bank Group's High Level Advisory Council on Women's Economic Empowerment, which was chaired by Danny Lepsiga and Hedimari Wazerok. Amina J. Mohamed, Deputy Secretary General. Mrs. Amina J. Mohamed is the Deputy Secretary General of the United Nations and Chair of the United Nations Sustainable Development Group. Prior to her appointment, Mrs. Mohamed served as Minister of Environment of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, where she steered the country's efforts on the climate action and efforts to protect the natural environment. Mrs. Mohamed first joined the United Nations in 2012 as Special Advisor to the former Secretary General Ban Ki moon with the responsibility for post-2015 development planning. She led the process that resulted in global agreement around the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and the creation of a sustainable development goals. Mrs. Mohamed began her career working on design of schools and clinics in Nigeria. She served as an advocate focused on increasing access to education and other social services before moving to the public sector where she rose to the position of advisor to four successive presidents on poverty, public sector reform and sustainable development. Mrs. Mohamed has been conferred several honorary doctorates and has served as an adjunct professor lecturing on international development. The recipient of various global awards, Mrs. Mohamed has served on numerous international advisory boards and panels. Dr. Tedros Adhanom Gabriesus was elected WHO Director General for a five-year term by WHO member states at the 17th World Health Assembly in May 2017. In doing so, he was the first WHO Director General elected from among multiple candidates by the World Health Assembly and was the first person from the WHO African region to head the world's leading public health agency. As Minister of Health from 2005 to 2012, he led a comprehensive reform to the country's health system, built on the foundation of universal health coverage and provision of service to all people, even in the most remote areas. Under his leadership, Ethiopia expanded its health infrastructure, developed innovative fight financing mechanisms, and expanded its health workforce. A major component of reforms he drove was the creation of primary health care extension program that deployed 40,000 female health workers throughout the country. A significant result was the approximate 60% reduction in child and maternal mortality compared to 2000 levels. Prior to his election as Director General of WHO, Dr. Teachers held many leadership positions in global health, including as chair of the Global Fund to Fight AIDS, Tuberculosis and Malaria, chair of the Royal Black Malaria Partnership, co-chair of the Partnership for Maternal, Newborn and Child Health Board. After taking office as WHO Director General on 1st of July 2017, Dr. Teachers initiated the most significant transformation in the organization's history, which has generated a wide range of achievements. As you round up with this content, please note that there are many more African personalities around the globe working in top world organizations. Those however enlisted in this video are a few Africans amongst others specifically excelling in their various positions and are now at the peak of their career. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please give us a thumbs up if you did and drop a word in the comment section. Not forgetting to mention your topic of interest you would like us to cover and we will bring it to you. Do not forget to share, subscribe and turn on the notifications so you get notified whenever we release a new video. See you in the next video.